Now I would like to introduce the next generation in true surface microscopy from VTEC, the inventors of topographic confocal Raman imaging. In this evolutionary step, the topography as well as the Raman image are recorded simultaneously. It's this a one-pass technique and automatically compensates for any change in topography and keeps your sample in confocal diffraction limited focus. As an example, I have here a piece of multicrystalline silicon and we see we are nicely in focus on this plateau and if I now move around, my system automatically compensates for any change. So no matter where I move, I'm always in focus. Whether I'm down or whether I'm up on a plateau, it doesn't matter. The system automatically compensates and my easy, my easy link control allows me to move around. You can, of course, also record topographic confocal Raman images uh, using this technique. And I've recorded here previously um, an image on the sample we see at the moment. Here we see a stitching image of my multi-crystalline piece of silicon. The image was recorded within the red square. And if we look at the topo topography, then we can see that there's quite a big change between the dark areas and the bright areas. Namely, we're talking about nine micrometers change. And if we look at that in 3D, then it becomes apparent that we would never have stayed in focus with a 100X objective as we're using now, if we wouldn't have compensated. If we now look at it from different angles, it becomes more obvious. And of course, we can simultaneously now look at the Raman and see that we got Raman signal with a very high intensity, no matter where on the sample we are. 